Good evening. This is All India Radio and I am Nishit Kumar with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says government has brought the Citizenship Amendment Act to correct historical injustice. New Delhi issues strong demarche to Islamabad over abduction of a Hindu girl in Sindh province. In Jharkhand, seven new cabinet ministers inducted in Hemant Soren led coalition government. India requests China for facilitating evacuation of its nationals from Wuhan in view of coronavirus outbreak. In cycling, India's SO Alben bags gold in the men's Kairin individual event of the 6-day Berlin tournament and in under-19 cricket world cup India beat Australia by 74 runs in the Super League quarter finals in South Africa. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today said the government has brought the Citizenship Amendment Act to correct historical injustice and to fulfill the BJP's promise to persecuted minorities from the neighboring countries mr modi was speaking at the annual prime ministers ncc rally 2020 today pakistan mein bangladesh mein afghanistan mein reh gaye hinduon sikho ye vaada kiya tha agar unhe zarurat hogi to wo bharat aa sakte hain bharat ke purane vaade ko pura karne ke liye aaj jab hamari sarkar citizenship amendment act lekar ke aayi hai to kuch rajnitik dal अपने वोट बैंक पर कब्जा करने की स्पर्धा में लगे द प्राइम मिनिस्टर से द प्रॉब्लम इन जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पर सिस्टेड सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस एंड टेररिज्म थ्राइव हिस्स ट्रेस दट इंडिया इज मूविंग अहेड विथ अ यंग अप्रोच एंड कैरीज आउट सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक्स एंड एयर स्ट्राइक्स टू फाइट बैक टेररिज्म ही सेड दट नॉट ओनली जम्मू एंड कश्मीर बट द एंटायर कंट्री इज विटनेसिंग न्यू डॉन ऑफ पीस He stated that India is moving ahead swiftly in fighting separatism and will defeat it completely. He said young India will play a crucial role in the fourth industrial revolution. He stressed on the need to take the country's economy to new highs and to build a self-sustainable, empowered, prosperous and safe India. The Prime Minister said his government has managed to address the aspirations of the northeast region which were neglected for decades. Apni apni maangon ki wajah se northeast mein kai ugrawadi sangathan paida ho gaye. इन संगठनों का लोकतंत्र में विश्वास नहीं था हमें एक तरफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट के विकास के लिए अभूतपूर्व योजनाओं की शुरुआत की और दूसरी तरफ बहुत ही खुले मन और खुले दिल के साथ सभी स्टेक होल्डर्स के साथ बातचीत शुरू की बोडो समझौता आज इसी का परिणाम है Taking a dig at Pakistan the prime minister said the neighboring country has lost three wars but continues to wage proxy wars against India India summoned the senior officials from the Pakistan High Commission today and issued a strong demarche over abduction of a Hindu girl in Sindh province sources in the external affairs ministry said India asked Pakistan government to investigate the matter and take urgent action New Delhi also asked Islamabad to ensure security safety and welfare of its citizens including the minority Hindu community It asked Pakistan to take immediate measures to expeditiously bring the perpetrators of such heinous acts to justice. India also made a demarche regarding the desecration of Mata Rani Bhatiani Temple in Tharparkar Sindh province. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the government is continuously working and taking progressive measures to double the farmers income by 2022. He was addressing the third global potato conclave at Gandhinagar Gujarat today through video conferencing. The Prime Minister said the combination of efforts of farmers and government's policy has resulted in bringing India among the top 3 countries in the world in the production of many cereals and other food items. He said the center has also taken several steps to promote the food processing sector. Food processing se jude sector ko promote karne ke liye Kendra sarkar ne bhi anek kadam uthaye hain. Chahe is sector ko 100% foreign direct investment ke liye 100% FDI ke liye kholne ka faisla ho ya phir PM Kisan Sampadan Yojana ke sampada yojana ke madhyam se value addition aur value chain development mein madad har star par koshish ki ja rahi hai. Union Home Minister Amit Shah said that central government also always wants to maintain better coordination with all states addressing the 22nd meeting of the Central Zonal Council at Raipur in Chhattisgarh today Mr Shah assured that center will extend support to states on all the fronts for their betterment he said center is trying to resolve all issues with various states as per the spirit of the constitution 
Now, Sam Chief Minister Sarbananda Sonowal has assured that the state government is working firmly in the interest of the indigenous people of Assam and for the development of the state. He said the government would take no step which would harm their interest and carry forward its development agenda in consultation with people of the state. The Chief Minister said this while ceremonially distributing the land patta among the indigenous landless beneficiaries in a program held at Majuli today. Union Minister of State for Ministry of Food Processing Industries Rameshwar Teli has said that the center has planned to set up food parks in all states of the Northeast region. He said a number of food parks have already been completed and started functioning. The minister said this while addressing a workshop on Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana PMKSY at Aizol yesterday. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. Jharkhand Governor Draupadi Murmu today administered the oath of office and secrecy to seven new cabinet ministers in the Hemant Soren led coalition government at Raj Bhavan in Ranchi this afternoon. JMM legislators Champai Soren, Haji Hussain Ansari, Jagannath Mehto, Mrs. Joba Manji, Mithilesh Kumar Thakur, and Congress legislators Banna Gupta and Badal are the seven new cabinet ministers. Our correspondent has more details. Today, seven MLAs took oath as cabinet ministers in the Heman Soren led coalition government, which totals a figure of 11 ministers in the state cabinet. Jharkhand can have a maximum of 12 ministers in the cabinet, including the chief minister. Heman Soren led government has tried to strike a balance between the experienced and the young force. Champai Soren, Haji Hussain Ansari and Jagannath Mehto will lead the cabinet with the expertise while Mithilesh Kumar Thakur, Banna Gupta and Badal have a fair chance to show their mettle. Women representation has been taken care of by adding Joba Manji in the cabinet. For All India Radio News, Shilpi from Ranchi. In Chhattisgarh, the polling for the first phase of the three-tier panchayat elections was held peacefully today. Our correspondent reports that about 66% of voting has been recorded. The counting of votes is underway. The second and the third phase of panchayat elections in Chhattisgarh will be held on January 31st and February 3rd. BJP today hit out at Arvind Kejriwal government in Delhi saying they hindered the works of the central government in the national capital. Briefing reporters in New Delhi today, senior party leader and union minister Prakash Javrekar said that the state government has done nothing about Delhi's major problems like traffic congestion. Delhi ki sabse badi samasya traffic congestion. Usko sudhar ne ke liye Rajya Sarkar ne kuch ne kiya. Lekin Modi ji ke Sarkar ne ye karke dikhaya aur ye Delhi ke liye bohut ahem hai. Mr. Javrekar said party MPs of Delhi have exposed Aam Aadmi Party's bogus claims on Delhi schools. Meanwhile, senior AAP leader and Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Shisodia has dismissed the BJP's claim with regard to Delhi government schools. Briefing reporters, Mr. Sisodia alleged they showed the old building of the Delhi government school while hiding the current situation of the schools. Delhi Pradesh Congress Committee Chief Subhash Chopra today met Election Commission and lodged complaint against BJP leaders for alleged use of provocative language inciting communal discord. Speaking to the media, Mr. Chopra said the party has submitted a memorandum to the Commission in this regard. Election Commission today issued notice to BJP MP and Union Minister Anurag Thakur for the alleged controversial remarks during the election campaign rally at Buddha Vihar in Delhi. The Commission has sought a reply from Mr. Thakur by this Thursday. Ministry of External Affairs today made a formal request to the Chinese government for facilitating evacuation of Indian nationals from Wuhan in Hubei province of China in light of the recent outbreak of novel coronavirus. External Affairs Minister Jai Shankar informed this while briefing reporters in New Delhi today. आप पूरा भरोसा करिए कि भारत सरकार इस पे लगी है हमारी कोशिश है कि जो स्टूडेंट जो वुहान शहर में है उनको वुहान से बाहर कैसे निकाले इसमें हम लोग चीन सरकार के साथ काम करें Reviewing the preparedness of the situation arising out of novel coronavirus outbreak in China, Cabinet Secretary Rajiv Gobha today informed that screening of passengers with travel history from China has been extended to 13 more airports. Civil Aviation Ministry has been asked to make necessary arrangements for evacuation after approval of the Chinese authorities. On evacuation, these individuals will be kept in quarantine for 14 days. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare is procuring more thermal scanners for faster screening of passengers coming from China. In view of the novel coronavirus outbreak, Ministry of Health in a statement has urged 
all travellers to China to avoid non-essential travel. Health Minister Dr. Harshwardhan has urged people for self-declaration regarding symptoms of novel coronavirus on the National Helpline number. He said a 24 by 7 call centre is active for responding to queries on the virus. The number is 011-2397-8046. The minister said so far about 35,000 passengers have been scanned at the airports. He said four more labs of the Indian Council of Medical Research in Aleppo, Bengaluru, Hyderabad and Mumbai have been geared up for testing clinical samples. चार और स्थानों पर वायरस के टेस्टिंग के लिए फैसिलिटीज क्रिएट कर दी गई हैं इसमें और आने वाले कुछ ही दिनों में ये दस स्थानों पर वायरस को टेस्ट करने की फैसिलिटीज होंगी सभी ऐसे संबंधित शहरों में हॉस्पिटल्स में आइसोलेशन के लिए अच्छे क्वालिटी के जरूरत पड़ने पर ट्रीटमेंट के लिए उनको सर्वेलेंस में रखने के लिए स्पेशल बेड्स क्रिएट कर दिए गए हैं Dr. Minakshi Bharadwaj, Medical Superintendent of Ramanohar Lohia Hospital, New Delhi, said that all arrangements have been made to deal with the situation. हमारे अस्पताल में पूरा आइसोलेशन वार्ड है, पूरे जितने प्रिकॉशंस हैं, वो सब फॉलो कर रहे हैं, इन्फेक्शन कंट्रोल प्रैक्टिसेस पूरी लागू हैं, सब स्टाफ को उनकी जानकारी है, और अपने बचाव के लिए पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट होता है, तो जो हमारे हेल्थ वर्कर्स हैं, वो सब पर्सनल प्रोटेक्टिव इक्विपमेंट पहन के तभी इन मरीजों से डील करते हैं। JNU student Sharjal Imam has been arrested from Jahanabad district of Bihar by Delhi Police's crime branch. He was arrested from Kako police station area of the district today. Sharjil has been booked in sedition cases lodged across several states for alleged inflammatory speeches made during protests against the Citizenship Amendment Act. In a major push to development in Jammu and Kashmir, around 1,256 projects were 2,280 crore rupees are being completed by the end of March this year. More from our correspondent. Jammu and Kashmir Infrastructure Development Finance Corporation is working hard to give massive push to infrastructure development. The corporation was formed in 2018 with an aim to finance projects with an innovative solution for funding the infrastructure needs of Jammu and Kashmir. Most of the projects include creating public utilities like roads, bridges, water supply schemes, sports facilities, educational institutions and industrial estates. All of these projects are believed to be of high importance and once completed would create immense change on the developmental landscape. Beating the retreat ceremony marking the culmination of four-day-long Republic Day celebrations will be held at the historic Vijay Chowk in New Delhi tomorrow. Indian tunes will be the flavor of beating the retreat ceremony even this year. The Mumbai International Film Festival for documentary, short fiction and animation films got off to a colorful start in Mumbai today. At the opening ceremony, the coveted Dr. V. Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award was conferred on Dr. S. Krishnaswamy for his lifelong, invaluable contribution to non-fiction filmmaking. In cycling, India's S.O. Alban has bagged a gold in the men's care and individual event of the 6th Berlin Tournament, the 18-year-old finished on top of the podium, earning 20 classification points last night. In Under-19 Cricket World Cup, India beat Australia by 74 runs. In the Super League quarter-final at the Senvest Park in Potchef Kroom, South Africa this evening, chasing a victory target of 234 runs, Australia were all out for 159 in 43.3 overs. Earlier, put into bat, India made 233 for the loss of 9 wickets, in the stipulated 50 overs. Yasashri Jaiswal top scored 62. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says government has brought the Citizenship Amendment Act to correct historical injustice. New Delhi issues strong demarche to Islamabad over abduction of a Hindu girl in Sindh province. In Jharkhand, seven new cabinet ministers inducted in the Heyman Soren led coalition government. India requests China for facilitating evacuation of its nationals from Wuhan in view of the coronavirus outbreak. In cycling India's SO Albin bags gold in the men's care and individual event of the six day Berlin tournament. And in under 19 Cricket World Cup, India beat Australia by 74 runs in the Super League quarter final in South Africa. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com and news on AIR app. And that is all in the news at 9. Good night.